number seven, how to protect computers against hacking and malware. Like building a house, it is important to make sure you have a strong foundation before building on top of it. If a computer system is riddled with malware or you have easy to guess passwords, then any additional software aimed to protect data is useless. The first step is making sure you have an operating system that is free of viruses and other malicious software known as malware. A virus is a form of malware that can destroy, damage, or infect the information in your computer as well as data on external drives. Viruses can also take control of your computer and use it to attack other computers, spreading the virus over the internet using email, malicious web pages, or other means to infect unprotected computers. Be extremely cautious when opening email attachments. It is best to avoid opening any attachment received from an unknown source. If you must, save it to a folder first, then open the appropriate application and the attachment yourself. You're less likely to contract a virus if you use the program's file menu to open the attachment manually, rather than double-clicking the file or allowing your email program to open it automatically. Other viruses spread through removable media, particularly USB memory sticks and external hard drives that allow users to write and read the information on the device. Consider the possible risks before inserting removable media such as CDs, DVDs, and USB memory sticks into your computer. Another great tool is Avast, which is a free antivirus program available online for both Mac and Windows. Running two antivirus programs at the same time is not more secure and will cause your computer to run slow or even crash. Make sure that your antivirus program allows you to receive updates as many of the tools that come pre-installed on computers must be registered and paid for at some point to receive updates. New viruses are created every day so your computer will become vulnerable if you do not keep up with new virus definitions. Use your software's always-on virus detection feature if it has one. Different tools have different names for it, but most of them offer a similar feature. Scan all of the files on your computer regularly, but daily scans are unnecessary, especially if you're using the always-on feature. How often you should run a scan depends on various circumstances, like connecting your computer to unknown networks, sharing USB memory sticks, receiving strange email attachments, or whether those in your home or office have recently had virus issues. If any of these factors affect you, then you should scan your system as soon as possible. Spyware is a class of malware that can track everything you do on your computer and send the information about it to someone who shouldn't have access to it. Spyware can record the words you type, the movements of your mouse, the pages you visit online, and the programs you run, among other things. They can undermine your computer security, revealing confidential information about you, your activities, and even your contacts. Many of the suggestions earlier are also helpful when defending against spyware, because spyware and viruses infect computers in similar ways. Stay alert when browsing websites. Watch for browser windows that appear automatically, and read them carefully instead of just clicking yes or OK. In general, try closing pop-up windows by clicking the X in the upper right-hand corner, rather than cancel. This can prevent web pages from tricking you into installing malware. Never accept and run content from websites you don't know or trust. To counteract spyware infection, we recommend using SpyBot, an anti-spyware tool that scans and safely removes spyware that can track your computer activity. A strong password is at least eight characters in length and includes different letters, symbols, and cases. It is also important to regularly change login information to include new passwords. This is especially vital for your most important accounts. A multi-word passphrase consisting of four or more random words can make it easier to remember your password. However, even with an easier to remember passphrase, it's nearly impossible to remember a unique password for all of the websites you have accounts for. However, using a free password manager like KeePass can make this job easy. The copy and paste function from KeePass also protects your passwords from key loggers and other types of malware.